Hi, my name is Erica Bellotto, and I am making a comparison to the Roman Empire versus the Han Dynasty. In the beginning of the Roman Empire, expansion was the major influence to conquer land. It was through a conquest of overseas battles, like in the Punic Wars, where they were able to defeat and conquer territories throughout the Mediterranean and also to the east. The Han Dynasty asserted sovereignty in Korea in the east to Central Asia in the west and Vietnam in the south. There was war in the north against the Xiongnu territory where Emperor Wu, also known as the Martial Emperor, sent in several armies of 100,000 to 300,000 troops. There are many similarities between the Han Dynasty Education was a major factor in both Han China and Roman Empire. In Han China, there were imperial examinations. These exams were for civil services. Not only did it provide society a benefit, but um, it also was a gain for their government. The Taisu was their national university. Um, it was earlier in Han, the Taoist and Huang Lao teachings, and during Emperor Wu, um, they established Confucianism as their doctrine of teaching. Poetry, literature, mathematics, and clerical script were also seen as an important factor in education. And as you can see on the left, you see those clerical scripts which now they have used it ever since, and they're also known as the uh, modern scripts. In the Roman Empire, they adopted the Greek system, where literacy was very important, and such great authors such as Virgil, Nanid, Homer, and the Iliad, um, they were major influences in their education. The paterfamilia was also um, established where the father or the head of the household um, educated and created the structure for their children. Um, this was led up until um, primary school was developed and it was more for 6 to 13 um, years of age. Um, this was developed through the Liberty or the Freed Slaves um, where they opened up the first private school. In Han China, there were accomplishments such as which they developed paper, the sundial, and started acupuncture. There are inventions such as the seismograph, cast iron technology, and crop rotation um, 
which crop rotation was to fulfill the agricultural environment and to keep um, crops growing. And they also created the Silk Road, which was a trade route from the Far East in China um, all the way to the Mediterranean. In the Roman Empire, there were accomplishments um, that were so many, more than I could say Han China or the Han Dynasty. They developed the water wheel, candles, and public bathhouses um, because of the fact that they invented waterways systems, um, they're called aqueducts, that ran from the ocean all the way up into their city. So there was vast amount of water being instilled. And they also created, you know, artistical infrastructure where they were able to build using cement and um, also created arches along their buildings. And in the pictures below on the far left, you can see the Colosseum. And in the middle, you see the Roman aqueduct versus the modern aqueduct today. And you see the ocean as the reservoir and where it traveled through the aqueduct bridge. And you can see the aqueduct bridge on the right hand side of the page. To close this show, I wanted to talk about the great civilizations um, and the criteria of it. So in order to create a great civilization, you would have to have the right place, right atmosphere, the right resources, and the right structural foundation to be able to attain a long-lasting development. In as far as the 21st century, um, there are so many differences from these two civilizations. The advancements in technology, for one, is um, has gone from the Iron Age to the virtual world. And also the belief systems. There's so many different beliefs that are being practiced. Back then there was, in China, Confucianism. And in the Roman Empire, there was um, the introduction, or the start of Christianity. So the one belief system is no longer such a thing where now so many people are able to practice however they want to practice in what way they want to practice. So there's more freedom in that sense. Also, um, I wanted to mention back then in the Roman Empire, there was slavery, slaveholders. Um, now, you know, there's no such thing as slavery. I'm sure in other parts of the world there is. Um, um, which is sad to, to hear, you know, that there's not an end yet. But that's something that um, hopefully one day they'll be taken care of. <laughs> and to close everything, um, the 21st century has gone, you know, a long way um, and has learned so much from how their government um, has worked in such a structured manner. Um, which has created such an influence in how we believe things in our government systems.